Hi guys, it's Matt here at Envapes. This is the Envapes review of the Symbiot RDA by Tobacco. Um, you've probably seen other reviews of this out there. I know there's a, a few of the reviewers have done this, but uh, as you know at Envapes, we like to do things a little bit differently. So uh, this is our, um, you know, what we've done to the Symbiot, um, made some improvements and uh, adapted some things. So we'll we'll go ahead and take a look. So that's the old packaging, nothing too fancy, but got sort of holographic lettering on there. And inside you get the atomizer and a bag of the usual spares, which is Allen key, spare O-rings and some spare grub screws. And there we go, this is the atomizer itself. It's got a, uh, a wide bore drip tip on there. It's got three air holes each side, so it's six in total, and they're about sort of three mil square. And a silver plated 510 connection and the Symbiot logo there. The uh, DC comic fans will uh, get that one. All right, let's have a little look. It's gonna be a bit stiff this because it's brand new out the packet. So top cap comes off and you have these two sections cut here so you can close off or open up the airflow. And the drip tip comes out now I must just say that uh, unlike the Torque RDA from Tobacco, you only have the option of using the chuff cap with this. It doesn't come with an adapter or anything, um, but it's sort of like a conical tapered chuff cap. Uh, it has a spit card in, which some people do or don't like, but if you don't like it, you can just drill it out, cut it out. It's not a problem. It's got double O-rings, so it's nice and secure. And the deck, this is where the, uh, the important stuff is. And uh, on the Symbiot, they've done a, a rather unique and very cool thing. There we go. Six post design. How about that? So that basically allows you to build, you can build one coil, two coils or three coils on there. And these little holes you see on the side, they're not airflow. Um, they are obviously for the um, putting the Allen key in to you know, undo and do up the, uh, the screws that trap the wires. So that's a great little deck, that is. Right, so that's pretty much the symbiote as per everyone, you know, as reviewed before. Now this is where we do things a little bit differently. I'm just going to get a, a close up here for the uh, for the logo for you. There we go. You see, it's the uh, symbiot mouth. And I don't know if for, for the regular vapors that have purchased, you know, various things in the past, uh, stuff that's either manufactured own brand or or a clone of something. Um, the the engraving you, you tend to get on the cheaper stuff has sort of this sort of brown sort of colour to it. Um, it's not, you know, like a, just a, an etched engraving into the stainless. It's all, almost sort of like a laser engraved. So it's got this kind of like burnt thing, which if it was black, I think it would look all right. But it's kind of a brownie colour. It looks a bit, yeah, feels a bit strange as well. Um, I'm not a fan of that. So what we have done, let me get the other one, is we just give it a very light brush um, finish and it, it just takes that brownness off and it makes the logo very soft and subtle like so. Which, oh, there we go. It's a bit tricky to pick that up on the camera, but that is, we've still got all the detail of the logo there, but you've, we've got rid of the browniness. And it's just, you know, it's just nice and subtle. 
and I personally think that looks much neater. Nice improvement, I think. It's not in your face. So that's what we've done. We also do that to the talk, but I haven't got any here to show you. I've only got one that I'm playing around with, which is just the old style. You see it again, you've got the brown, sort of like, it looks black on the camera, but it's actually sort of brownie in colour. But we just brush over the whole thing with a satin mop, and it just takes out the, the brownness and gives you the, you know, that nice, sort of delicate little logo there. Right, so that's uh, that's one thing we do. Now the next thing we do is we now um, supply these with a bottom fed pin, just like the Torque RDA. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to, to swap out the pin to be bottom fed. Um, as you know, in Vapes, we like to uh, you know, try and adapt atomizers to bottom fed for squonking if we can. Um, so we're, we're quite pleased to have done the symbiote because it's, you know, six post design. You build three cores and having that on one of our mechanical squonkers at uh, full whack is, is going to be quite an awesome bit of kit. So let's just uh, go back to normal mode here. And I'll show you how to uh, to swap out the pins. What you'll get is um, an O-ring like that and a bottom-fed pin, which I haven't got. Hang on, you go and grab it. Sorry about that. I was not prepared. I right, say so the bottom-fed pin and the O-ring will come in the uh, the spares pack. But obviously I have to put that in there and not wander off and get it like I just did. So there we go, that's uh, a bottom fed pin, which you can see all the way through, and this little o-ring. So what we need to do is just unscrew the silver plated standard 510 pin. It's a good idea just to hold your thumb over the the contacts just so they don't drop out. They shouldn't do, but uh, you know. And then I don't know if you can see there's a. Uh, let's get a bit of zoom on this for you. There's a little plastic delrin in there, which doesn't go all the way through, it's in two parts. So if you pull out the uh, the post there then you see you've got this white insulator there which is actually a separate part to this this white insulator here so what we need to do is um, see if we can use the allen key we need to just prise out this bottom white insulator here you can either just prise it from the top it's not in there major tight, but uh, there we go. Just pops that out, there we go, can you see that? So just pop that one out, and you're left with obviously the top one there. And then get the little O-ring, and just pop that in there, just push it down. I use the, the standard 510 screw just to, to sort of push it down. So it's seated down there like so. There we go. Pop your post back in. Make sure that sits properly. There we go. Hold it upside down. Keep your finger on the post so it doesn't drop out. Get your bottom fed screw there. Um, so I'm using the wrong hands. Pop it in and just screw it up don't have to go crazy tight with this there we go on bottom fed symbiote right so I'm gonna go ahead and do a build on this and uh, then we can have a vape on uh, on it and see how it is 
that I have slightly cheated because I have pre-built some coils on here. Um, it's not hard to put the coils in, just you know, wrap your coils um, and then just put them in, you know, horizontally across there. Uh, what I have done on this uh, is I've got the middle one slightly higher um, just to be a bit funky and also if you put this on here next to this you can see that I have lined the coils up there with the air flows um, I think that the middle coil is probably just a tiny bit higher than the airflow but that's a good thing because it will sort of mean it will come in go underneath the coils and up and on the other two it will just go straight across the coils and up so uh, that should be quite good so let's let's get some wick in these and uh, then we can have a vape Just the same uh, principle as you always do, just uh, twist your little cotton up and uh, struggle to poke it through. Usual scenario. Here we go. I'm just using some of our uh, organic cotton that we sell. I've never had any problems with it. It's, uh, it's not got a fancy name or fancy packaging, but it works really well and it is 100% organic. You don't want these to be, you know, too tight as always. You just sort of pull it through gently. And the last one. There we go. All right, being bottom fed, you can obviously just screw it straight on and start priming, but it's it's always best just to, you know, give them a helping hand and uh, get a little bit on the top side of them. It also helps the the cotton sort of sit down into the into the juice well without bouncing back up again. And you just want to tuck the cotton down there so it just sits on top of those those posts like so you can tuck it down the side it doesn't make too much odds so there we go Probably should have made these wicks a little bit longer on the end too, just so that they tuck down near the, the squonk hole. Um, but, uh, that'll do for now. There's a bit going down the side there, so. Right, these these coils are just standard canthal. Um, they are 11 wraps around a 2mm bit um, and that comes out at 
I think my battery's dying on my uh, voltmeter. Bear with me. Let's put it on here and see what it's coming out at. Point four three of an ohm. Lovely. I am just going to check that they're nice and tight because there was a tiny bit of fluctuation. That's fine, it's hovering around 0 0.43, 0 0.44. Alright, so let's put it on a on one of our squonkers and then we can have a vape. Now, sadly, <laughs> because it is a six post design, uh, no, there we go. I was going to say you wouldn't be able to see the uh, see it squonking, but uh, I've just made a little gap in the cotton at the end there, so uh, you might not see this on camera. Let's have a look. There we go. Can you see the see the squonk hole? So there we go. Squeeze the bottle. And juice comes up and any excess is sucked back down. And that's obviously, there we go, you can see that's soaking into the wicks quite the thing. So if I built this again, I'll probably build the wicks a little bit longer because they, they, they need to just sort of trail down into that lower channel where that squonk hole is. But uh, as with all my videos, it is a one take wonder. I don't have the, uh, the joys of editing it and making it all polished and lovely. That's more fun this way. Right, so, I want to line our airflow holes up uh, with the coils. Um, I'm going to have it that way around. So, there. Again, like that. Uh, I might try it the other way around. We'll have a vape and see how it goes, first of all. And uh, let's pop the old uh, top cap on. There you go, you see, you can have it fully open. Or you can just shut off one, two, three. So we're going to go fully open. So it's 0.4 ohms. And uh, yeah, that's our little vape. Wow, <laughs> that's great. That's got some power. Very nice. Right, so that is the uh, the Symbiot, the uh, the M Vapes version, which has got the you know sort of. Uh, slightly modified logo there where we've just took a lot of the, the browniness out of the logo and it is bottom fed now it comes with the bottom fed pin and the o-ring so you can uh, convert it and adapt it to be to be bottom fed so uh, I hope this has uh, sort of helped and, and shown you sort of what we do and uh, shown you around the symbiote and um, these are available now on our website. The, the price hasn't gone up, even though we've started adding the bottom fed pins into them. So it's just they're just staying at sixteen ninety five delivered. Um, so uh, yeah, um, check back for some more videos soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.